So my next guest says we are entering the two most risky weeks for the stock market as tech earnings kick off Taiwan Semi, Netflix, up to bat. So let's bring a Simply Trader, uh, VP of Operations, Daniel Shea. And Danielle, first of all, you're bullish on both of these going into earnings. So I want to just kind of break them both down. We've got Netflix. I've got a chart of Netflix up here. What I love off the bat, you've got one big gap open here, another big gap open here, another big gap in over here. But full disclosure, I did ask my subscribers to take profits right around there. So I blinked. Why aren't you blinking? <laughs> So Charles, when you look at this chart, I just love breakaway gaps. That demonstrates that there's recent positive momentum and investors are very happy with what the company is saying over earnings. I also like that it's within a stone's throw of that previous all time high. So that can really act as a magnet. So that is why I'm sticking with Netflix here. And a similar chart here on the bottom folks, we've got Taiwan Semiconductor, another thing. And again, I didn't mark them all up, but another breakaway gap there, another breakaway gap here. And to Daniel's point, you get those breakaway gaps in the they usually trend higher. This was a huge breakaway gap at the beginning of the year. Uh, again, to your point, maybe, a, you know, the next move up, start to make new highs. I guess new highs beget new highs. <laughs> That's exactly right, Charles. When you look at Taiwan Semi in particular, Taiwan Semi was pretty soft because there was a lot of issues going on, you know, with China and Taiwan. Are they going to invade Taiwan? And so Taiwan Semi wasn't really rallying. But we'll see. We have seen with earnings the past two quarters, they've done really well. They've pulled back into 140. I think you could trade this one up into 160. All right. Full disclosure, subscribers are still long Taiwan Semi, and we've been in that for a couple of years. Okay. You're bullish on the semiconductors. You say you like the chart set up. I put up a one year chart. Walk us through it. So when you look at the semiconductors, Charles, we've seen an incredibly bullish pattern. We've had a lot of relative strength. I mean, obviously, we've had a big AI, big AI focus in this name. But when you look at the top weighted tickers in this space, they're all doing really well. They're holding up. Yes, we've seen volatility in this space, but typically when it pulls back, it holds. Right. So I'm looking for SMH to hold around 210, 215, and I would love to see if I can start making some dip buys in there. All right, I'll just show the audience right now that 215 happens to be the 50-day moving average. You buy the dip, you start to break out over 240, and then you go to the bank with Daniel Shea. Let's talk about this, your red flags, of course, Middle East, we know, rate cuts, bank sell signal. What's the bank sell signal? Goldman was out with a pretty good number today. That's true, Charles. But when you look at XLF, especially on the weekly chart, you're going to see that we've had a major breakdown in the overall trend. I also don't like the way that JP Morgan sold off after earnings. Typically, the banks are going to come out and they're going to kick off earnings season and see they're going to be a positive bullish catalyst or not. But when you see JP Morgan sell off five, six percent, it just gives you a little bit of a red flag going into tech earnings season. All right. Red, speaking of red flags, I got 30 seconds you're shorting two behemoths tesla and apple why are you picking on tesla and apple because they both gapped down multiple quarters in a row post earnings and they're near the lows on the year whenever you have stocks that are near the lows on the year with previous earnings results that haven't been that great you can typically short them to new lows and uh i know you have a new target on microsoft what's that so I'm continuing to buy Microsoft, Charles. It's one of my favorite stocks, and I think I can trade it up into about 440, which is going to be up above the previous high. All right, great stuff. Danielle, thank you. Uh, earnings season's here. I'm glad you were able to join us. All right, folks. Thank uh, you. We've got two of the best economists here in studio, Joe Lavonia, EJ Antoni.